Hi friends, I am back with a new video. Just see the screen, you can understand what we will be learning today. Uh, I can't say this is 3D or I can't say perspective, I don't exact word what to use. But you can see that there are three objects are moving and this is moving in a perspective kind of thing, like 3D kind of thing. And it is not very easy. I'll just show you how it works. So we'll be learning like this, how you are, you are going to create like perspective kind of, kind of rotations using the same Adobe animate. Okay. So in other software, like video editing softwares, you have some options to do this, but we will learn today how to do this in animate. Or if you feel like, so it is very easy, just make your symbol and we'll have that uh, transform tool and we just queue it. You will get this option. If you feel like that, I'll give some one minute time. You can pause this video and you just go back to animate and try to do like this and like uh, using the regular uh, transform tool and all you would try if you are getting like this same thing great otherwise come back to video and we can learn this done so as usual uh, i'm not giving more importance to graphic like designs as we'll be learning tricks and tips of animation so more into animation so it's like simple uh, designs okay come we'll start this now Okay, I'll start with like, okay, you can see this. So I have made like three symbols. Three are different, different. It is moving in one network area. Okay. So this is different. And we have one star here moving. I have made it. Okay, there are two like, uh, one for shadow, same star. I have like copy pasted here, even here also. I just copy pasted that. No problem. So even text is moving here, you can see the even text is moving in a perspective kind of way. Okay, so we'll do this now using regular transform tool, how it works or in what I'm teaching you something new today, we'll learn both things. Okay, I'll go back with the new file. So I'll take one small star. So properties, shape, okay, I'll take star. With maybe number of slides, I will take 20. So it look it will look good. Done. Okay. So proper star. Chalo. So we'll use this. I'll group this. And I'll make it little big. And as usual, you know rotation. You can use tweening. And through properties, you can say like rotate clockwise. All those things, no problem. So first we'll rotate this star. I'll make it as a symbol. There is one more old video on symbols. You can uh, check that to know more about symbols. Very simple. Right click, convert to symbol. Give some name. Maybe I'll say star. Okay. I'll go inside. Okay. So we are inside symbol now. I'll do just 20 frame ka animation. Simple. F5. And I'll use rulers. So very important. You see the rotation, yes, it is in stride. Center, right click, classic tween, last frame, insert keyframe or F6, and I'll just move this one line. The loop animation, right? Uh, there is one more video on how to do wheel like loop. You can check that also. Just a loop animation, so the star will be moving now. Come back to scene. I'll give some frames, F5, like 100 frames maybe. Just check that pivot point is exactly in center. Yes, so it is moving. Done. Very simple. But in my original video, the star was moving like this. Perspective kind of thing. Now how? Maybe you have like imagine like, okay, you take this, go to properties and you just skew this. It will move. Yes, it will move. Okay, I'll do one thing. I'll just go inside and I'll make one circle in center so to get proper effect. Okay. I just make a central hole. And I'll just keep it exactly in center. Just to get an hour, that circle feel simple. So exactly in center. So, okay, back to scene. So, okay, back to scene and yes, it is rotating now. 
but we need like this okay again maybe you have tried now with transform tool like you can do like this or you can skew it like this correct it will rotate like this still you are not getting that uh, perspective effect maybe you can skew like this no we are not getting that effect what i have showed you and there are no other here see you have a rotate and skew or scale only these three options are there free transform tool rotate and skew or scale you know you can't make it like a photoshop ka wrap tool something like that you can do only this much correct so now i'll show you how to do that got it so back to normal okay this is the original one what we had now as i told you this is like moving in a perspective so i'll show you how to do that if you feel like yes you can't do it then please subscribe to the channel to learn these type of tricks and even inform your friends or who are in the field so they can learn like these new new tips now i'll go inside okay i'll show you how it works actually uh, before the basics like what is the basics there if i take one new one second i'll take a new file and i'll tell you the basic how it works if it was an image just think if it was an image like this and you want to make it as a perspective so you had this option here when you go down down envelope or distort right you can do like this distort things but when it is in a like a movie clip or graphic you don't have that effect see here there is no effect you are having only rotate and skew or scale effect you don't have this distort effect it comes only with the uh, for like image kind of thing where there is a no group or no symbol so we'll be using same idea here very 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 simple so i'll go inside inside the symbol we have this animation i'll select the layer right click on the classic tween convert to keyframes done so all the tween has converted to as a keyframes now select again right click remove classic tween so i have all the tween i remove the tween now there is just circle moving now we don't want group so select again you can have this frame here select all frames select all the frames and just break this control b just break whole thing done now i lock this okay again now wheel is moving our animation is there and this is like break one now the fun part select everything select all frames ready ready for the fun take the transform tool done go to transform tool last option distort just i'll distort this now see the fun can play with this see the fun that's all back to scene now see it is moving in a perspective kind of thing see so same basic idea but after that we have uh, remove the sorry we remove the classic twin and grouping and just frame by frame it is moving now okay so if you want like shadow you know all extra things you can do this maybe i'll just copy this control d like i'll take one more copy of this and i'll go to properties windows properties I'll just change the color of the one wheel. Maybe I'll go for a little black, just like shadow kind of thing. Okay, and just push it down. And you can play it little here and there. It's up to you. Okay, we can see that effect also, or you can keep that uh, top one little up so you can see the shadow also like this. This is like as I told you tips and tricks. This is like very small tip where you can do like perspective kind of thing. Okay. So here, see the text now. Text is moving here in a 3D, like 3D. Okay. We will do this text part. Then we'll come back to this uh, one more idea. Chalo. So I'll start with the text. So I have already typed the text like 2D animation tips and tricks kind of thing. So you can type the text in a circle. Even in Illustrator or Photoshop or wherever, so I'll take this text and I'll rotate this text now. Same, click on the text first, right click, convert to symbol, graphic. I'll give name as a text. Okay, 
go inside and plan like how many any frames maybe i'll go for 100 frames while animation i'll go to 100 frames f5 right click classic frame last frame insert key frame click on the tween i'll say Say clockwise. I'll try clockwise. Okay, I'll give clockwise. Now after tween. Okay, it is rotating clockwise. I think it is ulta, so we can't read. I'll go back to opposite, like and counterclockwise, so you can read that. I think so. See, yes, it is coming on front like two D animation. Done. So simple now. Now you know the trick, right? yes so select all frames first right click convert to keyframes yes right click remove classic twin select all frames from first to last select all frames then break this control b break break all the text yes go to transform tool down distort I'll make this small. See, you can play here. I'm just taking the top part. I'm making it low. And down it will be very big. So pure perspective kind of effect. I think enough. We'll check. Let's close this and see the fun. Yes. It is moving. Back to scene. And as usual, I have to give 100 frame F5 or insert frame because it was symbol. I will just make this little big so you can see properly. See. So it works like this. Even you can go back and you can skew it more or like you can distort it more. Okay. To give more little effects as usual i'll take one more copy of this and i'll just keep it little below i'll go to properties i'll give little tin like shadow kind of thing yes it is already done and even you can try with little alpha done. just keep it down This is like how you can get 3D effect kind of thing, right? Okay, so this is like you know colored wheel here, and even you can give some different different colors like alien ship kind of thing, something like this. I'll do this again now. Same concept. You can have some different you know, lighting, all those things, no problem. Now right click, convert to symbol, graph it. I'll say wheel only. Okay, done. So go inside. We'll have a small animation of 20 frames simple and as usual we need rulers here okay so i'm taking like this blue and white line uh, point okay done right click classic twin last frame you have six or insert keyframe and i just do one small rotation half rotation that's all again looping concept so we are not actually rotating whole wheel here just one step done back to scene so 20 20 means i'll give some 60 frame f5 no problem so it is rotating here as i told you before using transform tool you can't make that 3d wala effect only you can skew or you can do something like this right but our effect was totally different Chalo. so back to just go inside as usual now you people know this select right click Convert to keyframes, right click, remove classic tween, select all frames, break this, control B for break, then go back to, now I'll simply I'll show distort, see now, even you can try envelope I think, okay it is not showing here, done, see, it's all 3D kind of thing.
back to scene, see the file. Again, perspective, you can see like it is very small here. Here you are having more uh, place. We will try to do still more. We will see. Select all again. Restart. I will do still more. We will see. Just trying. Make it still more perspective on effect. Yes, see. Back to scene. Okay, this is like perspective wall effect. Alien ship, maybe you thought. Okay, now we'll have that. Like, if you want shadow, you can try, or you, it's up to you now. You know the basics now how to play with this. I'll keep it down and I'll make it like 3D, like thickness. So, properties. I'll give dark color tint here. This darker color just to give depth like thickness to this. Okay. Just push it down. So we are having here thickness like a wheel. See the file. Done? Okay. So this is all about today's session. Like uh, how you can create like perspective kind of thing in your normal animate CC and this is what we learned done so i'll be back with a new video till then just subscribe like and share and comment if you like something or you can again tell me like if you want to learn something please uh, put me into comment box i'll try to do uh, videos on those topics also